Red Wing differentiates itself from the field of boot brands with the style that it infuses into its boots. The brand's heritage collection includes boots that borrow heavily from the work boot designs of the early 20th century, which makes sense given that Red Wing has been making boots since the early 1900s. The best Red Wing work boots are more form than function than other work boot brands. Most of the company's boots feature oiled leather, which gives them a richer look than a standard utilitarian work boot. Red Wing boots also come equipped with lug or wedge soles that are more streamlined than those found on other bulkier contemporary work boots. Please see the product URL provided below the description. Please follow us on YouTube for new updates. Review Findlay present Top 5 Best Red Wing Work Boots. Let's get started. Number 5. Red Wing Women's Round Leather Boots Red Wing's classic round toe boot was originally developed for farmers back in the early 1900s. When the company found out that many women were wearing men's round toe work boots, the company decided it was time to make a version of this boot for women. Like the original men's boot, the women's version features a wedge sole that offers stability while also creating a thick outsole for plenty of shock-absorbing cushioning. The lace-up style allows for adjustments to fit the contours of the wearer's feet while the oversized toe box preserves room in the toe box. The women's round toe boot is just as rugged as the original with oiled leather, triple stitching, and the same Goodyear welt found on Red Wing's men's boots. Inside there's an insole that molds to the shape of the foot. Number 4. Red Wing Heritage Classic Mock Boot. Working on hard concrete surfaces, such as those found on factory floors and loading docks, can be murder on the soles of your feet not to mention your knees and hips. The mock toe boot is a great counter to those unforgiving surfaces with its wedge-style sole. That broad, flat outsole has greater surface area than a standard lug sole that has a gap between the heel and the toe box. This design distributes pressure across the entire foot reducing fatigue, while also improving traction on smooth surfaces. The thick midsole also has the added benefit of better absorbing impacts, thanks to cork filler in the midsole, a crucial characteristic when working on hard surfaces. Per its name, the boot has a mock toe, a common design with wedge-style work boots. This toe style is roomy while allowing for flexibility when crouching or walking. A 6-inch column provides excellent support while still offering plenty of freedom of movement. Number 3. Red Wing Heritage Classic Oxford. Not all workplaces require a work boot with a full 6-inch shaft. Though the classic Oxfords may not qualify as a boot, but rather a shoe, they offer the same comfort and durability comfortable Red Wing work boots are known for. The shoes are modeled off of Red Wing's classic mock boots, with their mock toe and thick wedge style toe. This style makes these shoes well suited for walking around on hard flat surfaces such as a warehouse floor or concrete sidewalk. The thick wedge sole provides ample traction with its broad surface area, while the thick midsole supplies plenty of shock absorption. A mock toe creates room in the toe box and adds flexibility while walking. The Oxfords have the same quality construction as other Red Wing boots, with triple stitching and Goodyear welt construction. This shoe's design and stylish looks make them suitable for white-collar workers who spend a lot of time on their feet from 9 to 5 but don't require the support of a boot. Number 2. Red Wing Heritage Blacksmith Vibram Boot Given that Red Wing is well over 100 years old, many of its boots have their roots in the early 20th century and the blacksmith is an example of this. This set of boots is based off of the classic work boot worn in farm fields and workshops in the early 1900s. Its oiled and waxed leather and a 6-inch column, originally designed to protect blacksmiths from hot embers that would fly off the forge, keeps water out of the boot while making them boots very durable. 
As with Red Wing's other work boots, the blacksmith features a Goodyear welt and triple stitching that adds durability, though the lack of a hard toe cap does limit their use as a work boot. The Vibram Mini Lug sole keeps the boots light while providing plenty of traction. Similar to other Red Wing boots, the blacksmith features a bump toe that makes for a roomy toe box. Like most of Red Wing's boots, the blacksmith has form to go with their function. The oiled leather and brass eyelets give the boots a classic look that makes them just at home for a night out on the town as they are in the workplace. Number 1. Red Wing Heritage Men's Boot Working on hard concrete surfaces, such as those found on factory floors and loading docks, can be murder on the soles of your feet not to mention your knees and hips. The mock toe boot is a great counter to those unforgiving surfaces with its wedge-style sole. That broad, flat outsole has greater surface area than a standard lug sole that has a gap between the heel and the toe box. This design distributes pressure across the entire foot reducing fatigue, while also improving traction on smooth surfaces. The thick midsole also has the added benefit of better absorbing impacts, thanks to cork filler in the midsole, a crucial characteristic when working on hard surfaces. Per its name, the boot has a mock toe, a common design with wedge-style work boots. This toe style is roomy while allowing for flexibility when crouching or walking. A 6-inch column provides excellent support while still offering plenty of freedom of movement. And though the mock boot is one of the pricier work boots you'll find, they'll last longer than most work boots thanks to its triple stitching and oiled leather. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates.